Hey guys, it's Amy here, your Tupperware Connection. Um, I just wanted to show you another recipe using the Tupperware microwave pressure cooker. All right, so um, I've taken a couple of preparation steps. All right, so um, in the pressure cooker, okay, so this is the pressure cooker base, right? Um, this is the lid, all right? The lid has a, a gasket that goes around the inside that's gonna create the seal, right, when you close it. Um, it has this valve here, okay, so that when you take it out, right, it's gonna be full of pressure, right? That's what we want, and it's gonna be standing up. When it falls down, then you know that the pressure has been released and you can open it safely. Okay, and then there's another valve here, which during the cooking process can re, um, release some steam as well. Okay, and then this is a lid lock. All right, it's not a handle, it's a lid lock and you close it and it attaches the lid to the base. Okay, so that they don't come apart. All right, so I've already taken the liberty of putting my stew meat. All right, I did about um, a pound and a half of stew meat. All right, and then I took the easy way. All right, beef stew seasoning mix. All right, and I sprinkled it on the top, all right? So now I'm going to create a roux, okay? And um, I have put in my little vent and serve here, um, a quarter cup butter, all right? And a quarter cup flour, okay? I'm just gonna stick it in the microwave just for a little bit here. Um, let's do like maybe 15 seconds. I'm just trying to melt some of that butter and at least make it a lot softer. Okay. All right, so you'll see that it's soft and it's starting to melt, right? So I'm just gonna take it with my fork and I'm gonna mix it together, all right? And this is creating um, a roux base of sorts, okay? So we mix it all together. All right. And you'll see that's the roux. And, and oftentimes if you make um, if you make beef stew in your crock pot, you might do this um, after it's all done cooking, right? You might make your roux to make the gravy, thicken it up. You might use some, um, what is that called? Bouquet server um, coloring and seasoning, right? To make it so that it's a deeper, darker color, all right? So, but I have my roux, okay? And I'm just gonna pour that over my meat. Okay, right, so we have the roux. I love that word, roux. All right, so put that in here. There's some more the spatula out here. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups, shaking it a little bit, of um, beef broth, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and put two cups in here. And there is a maximum fill line in the pressure cooker and you don't wanna go above that line because you do need to make sure that there is enough room um, to create the steam, right? There's gotta be room for the steam. Otherwise, I guess bad things could happen. All right, so, all right, so we've done that. All right, now we're gonna lock or we're gonna seal, whoops, we're gonna seal the lid. All right, so there are two arrows. Right, there's an arrow here and then there's an arrow on the base. So what we do is we put it on um, with the arrows, of course. Okay, so we put it on our arrows. I can't tilt it, otherwise I'll spill. Um, and then you just slide it to click it, okay? And then you lock down the top, okay? And that is securing the lid to the base. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, Cook this in the microwave on high for 25 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the microwave for 25 minutes. And then I will come back with you when I take that out for the next step, okay? All right, great, thanks. Hey guys, okay, so the 25 minutes just uh, went off. Okay, the timer just went off on the microwave. So I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that sizzle, right? Pressure, pressure in the pressure cooker. 
right, I'm going to use some oven mitts to take this out. Ooh. Woo. All right, so water is also, pressure is also escaping. I don't know if you can really see that, but this valve is open right now, this valve, and this valve right here is standing up tall, right? Standing straight up. Okay, so it's going to be probably about 10 minutes or so for the pressure to release before we can open it. Um, but while that was cooking, um, just to save some time, I went ahead and did my mise en place, right? Another French term. Um, I'm really practicing my French today. So we had roux, now we have mise en place, right? Okay, so, um, so I cut up some uh, potatoes, uh, added some carrots, all right? I am going to use my chop and prep, okay? Um, to dice up some onion, right? So let's do just a little bit at a time here. I'm not sure how much I wanna put in there. I'm gonna hide it so the kids don't see it, but I love it in there. Okay, so um, has the silicone ring on the bottom, so it sits on the counter, okay? Let me put it so you can see it. Okay, you can see it up here. Okay, so you just pull it like you're starting a lawnmower. One, two, three, four. All right, so let's, oh yeah, baby. Can you see the dice on that, right? Chopped, right? Chopped onion, what you want. All right, and then I'm just gonna add it to my mise en place bowl, right? And I'm going to add um, another section and be very careful um, because the blade is so sharp, right? Obviously, it's got to be to chop this stuff up. Um, let me see if this will be too much. You don't want to overpack it so that there's no room, but we'll see if I just overpacked it or not. All right, so you lock the lid on, all right? And you do the same thing. You pull. Ooh, yeah, no problem pulling that. One. So that's two. That's three. Right, four, do another one, five, because I have way more in there, six. All right, let's open it up, see what it looks like. Oh, look at that, look at that, right? And uh, the reason why I chop it up so small, like I said, it's um, kind of to hide it from my kids. Um, it makes it harder for them to pick it out. Now, if it was big pieces, which is how I would normally do it, um, if it was big pieces, they could just pick it out. But here, it takes too much effort to pick it out. So then they end up eating it um, without even realizing that they're eating it. So let me just get every little last bit out here. All right, waste not, want not. All right. So, um, okay, so our next step is as soon as um, we can release, as soon as the pressure is released and we can open the pressure cooker, we're going to do that, okay? And then we're going to add our veggies in, all right? So I'll pause it until it's ready to be opened, and then um, I'll start it again at that point. All right, thanks. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. The valve has dropped, all right? All right, so it's no longer standing, all right? There's a lot of liquid in the base, so I don't really wanna tip it. Um, so I'm gonna lift the handle, okay? And then I'm going to turn it, all right? Turn it, all right? And then when you take it off, you know, just to be safe, open it away from your face, okay? So I'm gonna open it. Ooh, yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so let me get out my little spoon here. All right, so we have our meat in here, okay? And um, I mean, sometimes after the 25 minutes, the meat is cooked, but I'm stirring it up a little bit. You can kind of see the, the color. Can you see that, that deep color, right, of the broth there? Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and start adding in. So I'm going to add in some veggies, all right? Um, I don't know that all of them will fit. I may have overestimated in my mise en place, all right? But I do want to get in as many potatoes as I can. And I don't want it to go over the fill line because that's important. All right, 
So you add your veggies in, all right? And then you're gonna reseal it, all right? Reseal it and put your uh, the lid back on it, of course. Oh my God, that looks so good. It's making me really hungry. All right, not much more because those potatoes, I don't wanna go over the fill line. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put the lid back on. I'm gonna line up my arrows, right? There's my arrows. I'm gonna turn it, turn it. I'm gonna lock the lid and the base together. And I'm gonna put it back in the microwave for about, um, I don't know, let's do 20 minutes, you know? There's potatoes. I didn't cut them real small, um, but we'll give that a try. And when that's done, I will restart the video so that we can see what it looks like. Okay, so the extra 20 minutes um, is done in the microwave. Um, the 10 minutes uh, letting it depressurize is also completed. So I haven't opened it yet, so I'm going to go ahead and open it now. Again, you want to pull up the lock, right? The lid lock, cover lock, right? And then open it away from you, away from you. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because I always have the same reaction <laughs> when I open something in the pressure cooker. I always go, oh yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, that looks delicious. Delicious. All right, so let's see if we can see that. You guys see that? Right? Delicious. Now I'm going to take a piece of the meat out. All right. Here's a piece of the meat, stew meat. All right. And I'm going to take this spoon and see if I can cut it with the spoon easily, easily. So there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. So good. Mm. Maybe, maybe I'll feed the kids something else tonight. <laughs> All right. So that is the process to make um, beef stew in the microwave pressure cooker. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, I do appreciate it. And feel free if you have questions or comments, post on the video. All right. Thanks so much, everyone.